Aloha! Welcome back to Try It Tuesday. This week we will be making these really cute yarn birds with nothing more than yarn and uh, corks, leftover corks or upcycled corks, um, and, um, and little googly eyes. So if you're able to stop by the library this week at 4 o'clock, we'll have kits uh, ready for you to pick up. And let me show you what you're going to find inside of your kit. You're going to have an instruction sheet here with step-by-step -step directions. Uh, you will find three bundles of yarn, a cork, a couple of rubber bands. You're going to get two googly eyes and a piece of felt. This will be for the beak. And then you're going to get this template. We also upcycled some of our uh, door hangers that uh, went out earlier this uh, this month. So this is your template and you're going to have a piece of tissue. Okay. And then at home, all you'll need to supply is a good pair of scissors and some glue. Um, I noticed that hot glue works best for this project. So if you have a hot glue gun, go with that. All right, let me show you how to get started making your cute little bird for spring. So you're going to get your template here and you're going to get one of the bundles of yarn. I'm going to go ahead and remove the rubber band that's on there. I'm just going to open up the bundle and then you're going to start wrapping this around the length, the longer portion of your template. So you're just going to wrap the whole thing around and around. You don't have to count it. You're just going to use the whole thing. Okay, and you want to wrap it uh, loosely so that the card doesn't start to bend. If it's too tight, the card will start to bend and then your uh, wraps won't be the, won't be the right length. So you're going to do this all the way around. You're going to make sure to not let it get tangled, <laughs> which it wants to do. Okay, here we go. Gonna keep wrapping that. All right, and then once you're done wrapping it, you're gonna get your pair of scissors and you're just gonna cut one side of the yarn, okay? Not both, only one side. So you slide, slide your scissors under the, the, the yarn and you're going to cut it just like that. And then you're going to open it up and you're going to have a bundle that looks just like this. And we're going to go ahead and do the same thing with the other two bundles of yarn. So we're going to pause here while I go ahead and do repeat that process two more times. Okay, so after you've cut all three bundles, you'll have something that looks like this. You'll notice it's twice the length of your template. So you can go ahead and put that on the side. And what you're gonna do is pull out one strand of yarn from each bundle, okay? And then the yellow one. So I'm gonna go ahead with the yellow one first, and I'm gonna place this, the whole bundle across there, and I'm gonna tie a double knot right in the center, okay? A double knot is just one knot, and then followed by another knot. That's all we're doing, okay? And then we're gonna set this guy off to the side. Now we're going to take our burgundy and our blue and we're going to do a crisscross like that. And here's the fun part. So you're going to take the two burgundy ends and pull them together. And then you're going to take the two blue ends and pull those together. So you have something like this. Okay, don't worry. This little guy was an extra short piece. You can just go off to the side. So if you have that happen, it's not a big deal. So you're going to kind of pull them taut and I'm going to take the burgundy piece that I set to the side and I'm going to tie it just like we did earlier, a double knot around the entire bundle. This is to, to secure it so it doesn't come apart. Okay. And I'm going to do the exact same thing with the blue piece. So set this down here, take the whole bundle, place it on top. I'm going to tie it fairly close to the top, okay? Doesn't have to be the exact on either side. This is a very forgiving project. So one knot and then this is the second knot, okay? So you'll have something that looks like this. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna set that there. We're gonna take our yellow bundle, 
and we're gonna set that right on top, okay? Looks like nothing right now, but it's gonna happen. It's gonna, it's gonna turn into a bird, I promise. So now you're gonna get your piece of tissue. Um, it's two layers. Uh, go ahead, you only need the one layer. You don't need that much tissue, so I'm separating the two layers of tissue, and I'm just gonna uh, crumple it up into a ball. This is gonna help make the sphere um, shape of the head, okay? So I'm gonna place this right in the center. So the yellow uh, portion will become the wings of the bird and the blue and the burgundy will be the head and the body. So I'm gonna go and grab my blue yarn, pull it up over the center. At the same time, I'm gonna grab my burgundy yarn, pull it up over the center. Oopsie. And then I'm going to grab my yellow yarn and pull it up over the center and the other side as well, the same yellow yarn on the opposite side. And we're just gathering it all together. And look at that. We're making a bird. <laughs> so at this point, you just kind of want to pull it and adjust it, make any changes slide if any of the pieces of yarn aren't quite smoothed out you can go ahead and make those changes right now tuck some of that in like i said this is a very forgiving project so hopefully you can see this this is this this is the start of your bird so you're going to go ahead and get one of the pieces of um, rubber band and you're just going to simply slide it you can slide it over this way that might be easier slide it over that way and then you're going to wrap it and do it a second time. I put, uh, I included two rubber bands in your project just in case they snap. You don't need both of them, but sometimes they don't, they don't hold up. So you have an extra one in there. So I'm going to just keep adjusting, and then you can see your tail needs to be adjusted and trimmed here. So you, that's where your scissors comes in handy, and you can make the tail in any shape you like. You can make it longer, shorter. You can kind of have fun with that. Just trim a little at a time because you can't put it back once you cut it. <laughs> All right. So, this guy's coming together nicely. He's kind of got a long tail there. There we go. So let's move that on on this side. All right. So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to get your cork. So this is his little perch that he'll be sitting on. So let's head over to the hot glue gun here. I just want to have a little bit for it to attach. You want to put it on the uh, cork and then you want to set your bird at the base right around the rubber band area right on top so that it has a nice spot to sit on. Okay, let me move this. It looks messy. <laughs> then you're gonna get your felt piece here and you're gonna cut a beak. So I like to do it in the shape of a diamond. There's no wrong way to do it. If you do it a different way, that is perfectly fine. But I cut the shape of a, a diamond or a kite and I just put a dab of glue, just a tiny dab of glue, and then I put it where I want it and then it kind of opens up like he's singing <laughs> and I have my eyes here okay so the last step is putting the eyes onto the bird so for this step I wouldn't recommend putting the glue on the back of the eyes because you have a greater chance of burning yourself <laughs> So you want to put a dot of glue directly onto the bird and then put the eye on top of that. Um, trust me, I've burnt myself so many times with the hot glue gun. This is the better way to go. Uh, so we'll put a dot on this side and right there. Whoops, there we go. So now he can join his friends. <laughs> so thank you for joining me this week and making your own yarn bird. I hope you enjoy this for spring and I hope to see you next week. Aloha.